What the hell? They're experimenting on Zomp, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 16. Today we return. Our leg is finally healed. Oh, today is going to be a blessed day. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are going to be trying to do what we do best. And that is continue our journey. Continue fortifying this fort and trying to make it out here. And we are going to take a very large step towards that fortification because last episode... We got our hands on something that we've been needing very badly. The small engine. This thing is going to be very useful for the cement mixer. The chainsaw I would love to have. Unfortunately, we're not getting some we're not getting those parts or that blade at least for a little bit. But as I was saying, the cement mixer, we are more than prepared to make. All we got to do is grab ourselves a couple of mechanical parts which should be somewhere up in here. I think it's in one of these two chests for sure. Yeah, cuz we just took home a bunch of mechanical parts there. We need some forged iron, we need some springs, we got all of those, and the cement mixer will be ours today. Cement mixer, oh wait, I gotta make you at the workbench, good thing we got the workbench right here. Cement mixer, it's gonna be time for us pretty soon to start mixing up cement, and with that cement, we will be fortifying all that we leave behind. But, now that we got a little bit of extra time, since uh, it's gonna take a couple minutes for anything that we just did to take place anyways, it might be a good time for us to go ahead and actually try to munch up a little bit, drink up a little bit. We're pretty full on the drink, but we should be able to eat up a couple cans of ham here. Our food is starting to go down, and after that, we will probably venture out. I want to spend this daytime here. I want to go to the pharmaceutical tower. We have never been there. We've never seen what is inside, and trust me, Curiosity might kill the cat today because I really want to find out whatever the hell is going on in there And that's exactly what we're gonna do last we left off We also got this amazing compound bow, which is nutty. We could continue our fortification here But we're gonna have to wait anyway because uh, what is it? We need the cement mixer to finish up anyway, and then after that we can start using I think the rebar frames which we can then fill with uh, yeah We fill it with concrete mix and all that we're gonna be making a good amount of that. We got the iron and clay stashed up for it. We got some rebar frames as well. So there should be some cement gracing us pretty soon. We'll spend the next night time actually trying to uh, loot everything up. Or not loot everything up, but go into the mines down below our base. And from there try to get all the rocks and sand and potentially clay that we're gonna need to craft up all the cement. But hopefully you guys are having nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world. Today we return and I cannot wait to see what is on the other side of those doors to that tower. But speaking of big news, I'm actually gonna be heading to Gamescom in a little bit, and I'll talk about that in a second here, whenever things get a little bit more cleared. But I'm gonna be heading out, and uh, actually Wednesday is when I leave, which is gonna be crazy, although I do need to get my passport sorted out, so maybe everything goes wrong. <laughs> See you later, putrid girl. Maybe everything goes wrong and I don't actually go. That would be awful, but I'm getting that sorted out tomorrow, probably, so that means I am in mass record mode. And this is kind of important, it might seem totally random, like, oh, Star's just gonna make a bunch of videos. But, it does mean a little bit more than that, because, uh, that's a person. Oh, there's a couple people. Oh, there's a lot of people. Well, the good news is, our compound pros crossbow should, uh, deliver swift deaths to all of these lads. And maybe since they're businessmen, they'll get us black dress shoes, don't care about that. But I was gonna say a little bit of money, but whatever. We got tons of arrows, we should be able to craft more. If needed, and yeah, we're just gonna be taking these zombie businessmen, dude. We're taking out capitalism! Comrade, today capitalism will fall under the strength of mighty arrow with bow and wood and shaft and the faces of mine enemies. It will be a glorious day. I cannot wait to see what happens. <laughs> I got a little bit too intense, but yeah, back with that, uh, so I just wanted to mention that because that means when it comes to recording these videos, you guys are only gonna have a couple, only for the next couple episodes will I be able to take any advice you guys give right away, right into account, okay? Just as a heads up, I'm still gonna be taking it, so keep on giving advice, especially whenever I ask for it, but I'm just letting you know right now, it might be a couple episodes till any advice you guys give does it take place probably after like the day 28 horde or something oh that guy almost got hidden on me but just want to let you guys know about that not I w i'm not going to be ignoring you i'm just going to be recording ahead of time so a lot of those decisions will be made before you guys even do your suggestions and what is the stag party Ooh, the slick willy clan well, how do you do, friend? If you're reading this letter, then you should know my crew has been watching you. We do this little task force, and we might let you join the willies. The willies! If you don't let the door hit your way, you're the good lord splitcher. Slick is always so willy. 
challenge kill some stag sure thing what's that mean just kill a couple deer i gotta kill those eventually anyway because a young man over here gotta eat this boy gotta eat and ooh, finding some pretty nice baseball caps and stuff i might yeah i'm not gonna invest in a baseball cap definitely not worth it and i put the steel pickaxe away didn't i yes i did oi lad that sucks to be me doesn't it mm, i kind of needed one of those to break into there Ah, well, you know, maybe, nah, there's probably gonna be gun safes up here, so, mm. yeah, to hell with it. We'll explore, we'll just, we'll maybe do some passes on the safes. At the end of the day, there might still be good loot. It doesn't have to be inside of a safe, but if we do find a gun safe, we do know where we are coming back to. But this building actually is taller than the last tower we went into, which is gonna be quite, uh, quite interesting. You guys have been telling me... Now, there's some interesting stuff going on in these upper levels, so I'm very uh, intrigued by these words that you speak, and I can't wait to put those words into, well, into actions. Oh, another level up! Hell yeah! That's what I like to see. We almost have that third tier of quality Joe. That's totally what I've been basking for. Uh, we should be able to break into here, take out a couple more zombies. We'll use our beloved barbed club a little bit. I still wish I had a better quality one, but eh. After we get our highest level quality, Joe, once we finally get that tier three, which should be what? Ah! Okay, I didn't want him to leave before. <laughs> I didn't want him to go leave us, although he did leave us a little bit there before I looted him. But yeah, I, I, dude, I wish we had the skill points. We'll get them in a little bit, but waiting sucks. Oh, where did you come from? Good sir. Ah, don't hit me in the face. I'll hit you in the face first. Let's have a face off. <laughs> See what I did there? Face off. I, <laughs> I am the funniest man alive. Laugh at me. Laugh at me. If you don't laugh at me, we'll also face off. Alright, I got a barbed club with your name on it. Although, it also has a 200 durability on it. One day it will be better. As soon as- ooh, I, that's what I love about these guys. They drop the old cash. The dress shoes I don't really care too much about, but that old cash is freaking awesome. But yeah, that's another thing that I'm really gonna try to invest into is weaponsmithing slash gunsmithing. Because I want that to be as high as possible. Because we're getting to that point where a lot of the weapons we're making are, you know, made by ourselves. A lot of the stuff that we're gonna end up using is going to be ours. So, I don't know, it just feels like it's gonna be pretty important for us to make sure that we're making the highest quality stuff possible. And how many businessmen live in this tower? Jesus, there's more businessmen in here than there were army men in the camp. Are you telling me you need more people counting numbers than you do shooting bullets? I don't know, I'm hearing some uh, sketchy stuff out of here, but, oh. And this is the only type of zombie we've seen too. Like, 100% serious, no bamboozle. I have only seen this stupid guy. Come on, come on. Oh god, that could have been bad. Oh, yeah. oh big hit on you. And big hit to the face, to the face. All right, he's done with that. We've almost cleared out the second floor. That's the good thing about this, I guess, is that the second... I thought I just saw that man move. Maybe he did move, who knows. That's the good thing about the second floor, though, is that... I don't know, it just seems easier. Well, not the second floor, but the better thing about this tower... It seems like there's a lot less to loot per floor, which, I mean, for the sake of getting loot isn't good, but for the sake of actually finishing up each of these floors a lot quicker is pretty good. Now, speaking of good things, time is not one of those good things, unfortunately. Time is our enemy right now. Time has always been our enemy, especially with this horde coming in, and especially since that cement mixer is being made back home. I know we could have been a bit more efficient, but we don't... Dude, we're getting so much cash out of this, though. That's going to be really nice. We could have, I don't know, we could have stayed home, but I didn't want to, especially because we had to wait five minutes for the cement mixer anyways. And I think using our night time to collect all the necessary stuff for the concrete will be the best course of action. Maybe you disagree with me. If so, hey, you know, I make questionable decisions. I don't, I don't question that. You know, my decisions aren't always going to be the best in the world. I wish they were. You know how dope that'd be if I always made the right decision? This dude was sleeping so hard. I literally like ran into him and like pretty much kicked him. And he's just like, oh, I'm just napping. Don't mind me just napping, and why are there purses on display? Whatever the reason, I like it. Hmm. Hmm, not too shabby. Yeah, I don't know why the- were there, Is there stuff on display down below? Ooh, there might be. No, I think those are like complete glass things. Okay. That's unfortunate, but uh, does this lead up to the next floor? It does. Little shaft. Alright, well we gotta go and finish out Kurabu. Whatever the hell's up in here. Where are you wandering into, dude? Are you checking out your friends just like, Tommy! Bobby! Tormund! Why are you guys- Why are you dead? Who came here and killed you? And then I just kinda like wander in behind him like, oh. Hello. How do you do? 
You're about to die. <laughs> okay, well, I guess he wants to leave too. No one wants to be by me. Maybe I just smell so bad even the zombies don't want my brains. They probably know where those brains have been. These, this brain has not been in good places, let me say that. <laughs> Okay, but I think that's enough. Ooh, never mind. I like food, especially because we can never have enough. Okay. I was gonna say the- oh, playing the long con, trying to ambush me when I'm not expecting it. That's not gonna go well for you. I'm gonna hit you in your dangling zombie businessman. You might be a businessman, but you still don't know how to properly protect that thing. Uh, we could scrap that if I wanted to. H for helicopter. Isn't that- don't they have giant H's on helicopter landing pads? See, I feel like that should have, uh, was there, is there a basement to this? Hold up. Oh, no. I thought maybe there could be a basement here. Maybe there's a secret basement. Maybe there's a secret I'm missing about this place. If I am, please let me know if there's any secrets about this tower we're going through. Anything I might miss, I'm 100% down for that because secrets are freaking awesome. And this is looking pretty freaking awesome. Now, the problem is we don't have the proper tools to, uh, take these things out. Like, we could probably use the wrench. Although this is kind of going to destroy the wrench a little bit quicker than I'd like it. Still, yeah, these metal doors are going to be very annoying for us to deal with. I don't know why I put the steel pickaxe away. I guess my brain was just on autopilot. But, whatever. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, there's a lot of you guys in here. I just hope I can maybe find, you know, if any of you guys are lumberjacks on the side. You know, spend your weekends up in Canada, eh? You know, I'd love if I could find, like, a fire axe up in here. Because, uh, right now... <laughs> Oh my god, this is just- Oh Jesus, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I meant to destroy this man- Oh Jesus, I'm sorry! Your friend's using your dead body as a shield! Alright, he's a bad friend. <laughs> oh my god, that was a bloodbath to say the least. Uh, just a leather duster. Nah. Nothing good. Bookcase, yeah. Wall safes. I wish I could break into those things. We do not have the machinery for that though. And I do not have the machinery to even try to break through those like, uh, these walls. I don't think they're technically walls, but you know what I- Where did you come from? What the hell? Were you up there with your wife, the potted plant? What is you doing, Timmy? I don't know why. He seems like a Timmy, you know? I could, I could see him being Timmy. Uh, yeah. Is this the only way we can go? This is the way, okay. So this is gonna be a little bit of a maze to get where we want to go. Hmm. Well, a little bit of a maze never killed anyone, I guess, but... Let's hope that we can get out of this maze a little bit quicker than we wander into it. Because I'm not trying to get lost in here when nighttime hits. I want to be home for that. And I don't know how comfortable I fear with the zombie. Eh! I mean, the building's only full of zombie businessmen. That's not actually that bad. I could, now that I think about this, let's scrap that. I should be scrapping a lot more of the things that I find. I just don't do it. I don't know. Force a habit. My number one priority, as you guys know, I like that. That is good. But my number one priority is always just like... I just like focusing on inventory room, even when we like still have a good amount. I don't know, I like focusing on inventory room early and often, so that way if we ever find anything and we're in a rush, you know, we're not stuck in like a just place where we have to like manage our inventory while there's like seven zombies chasing us. Nah, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I like just having it ready to go, so I guess that's why I make some, what some people may call questionable decisions. Hey, if you guys consider it questionable, I support you. You know, I'm not always going to be right out here. But anyways, I don't think I've asked you guys this yet. Ooh, BDU bottoms. These are very nice. I will, yeah, yeah. I'm not having a heat stroke anytime soon. I'll wear those. Not boo bottoms like I thought they were. I'm telling you, dude, that D looks exactly like an O, but no one believed? Actually, I don't know. Maybe you guys did believe me. I don't think I had too much time to look through too many comments in that episode, unfortunately. I do pride myself on this stuff, but sometimes real life does, ah, does take ah, some priorities away from me. Ugh. I will have a vengeance on that. Thank you for not affecting me though, businessman. Appreciate the uh, comment. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God, were you guys having a meeting in here when the zombie hit? Or when the apocalypse hit? Jesus, either a meeting or a businessman orgy, who knows? Jeez, Luis. Come on, just stay down. Let me hit you in the face a little. This, I feel like this barbed club might die. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this barbed club might go soon though. Cause we're just eating through all of these zombie faces. You two. No, no, just, just stay down. It's not worth your effort coming up, my friend. Are those skinny jeans? Dude, we could honestly, you know, who, who needs to go shopping for suits? If it's homecoming coming up or whatever, if there's a big dance we gotta go to, I'm just gonna go massacre the nearest tower at this point. I'm not going shopping to like no Bed Bath & Beyond or wherever the hell you buy a suit. Wait, press a boy cap? Um, I'll take that for the sole purpose that it's purple. But I don't think I'm gonna use it. Still, we've almost cleared this place out. Uh, what the hell is that? 
Just floor. Ah, oh, it's just the flooring. So I, for uh, I guess these cubicles are set up with like the walls and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's just flooring. I'm just like secret compartment. <gasps> Whenever I hear the word secret, you know, I just like I just like go up to attention. It's like a dog hearing his name or like a dog hearing the word treat. I'm just like treat, 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 squirrel. <laughs> Flashlight. Okay, we'll scrap up one of those. We still got a couple more chairs. Honestly, I should start picking up the chairs. I totally forgot that these are a pretty reliable source of wood. And we're in a freaking office building. I feel like chairs, there's gonna be a lot of these to go around. So that's gonna be one of our inventory slots devoted to chairs. I will be the chairman. Don't, you will fear me. I'll be like the boogeyman of chairs. Why are there first aid kits in your desk, sir? Someone was plotting some sketchy stuff if you have a first aid kit up in here. How much closer until that next level? I hope that I can at least hit that next level and get that last level of quality Joe before we loot up some of the best stuff. And we already got a pistol. I'll take the pistol. I'll scrap the pistol. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, actually, can I take the ammo out of it? Because I know... Assemble. Is there... Mm. Yeah, okay. So I, I took the ammo out of it. All you gotta do is hit assemble on it once, and then it'll take out the ammo. Perfect. So there's some ammo in there. I will scrap you, pistol. I know I could have technically repaired it in... Ah! The other pistol. Why? What is with you zombie men? You guys should be working in a freaking horror house. Not a... Not a business place. My god. You people are more talented at scaring the bejesus out of me than... Managing whatever the hell you were trying to manage. My god, I do love all the money you're giving me though. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I don't like the fact that there's so many wall safes that we can't get into though. Wall safes are my arch nemesis. Just because they're not as good as gun safes, but you still think that you should loot them. But then they, you know, disappoint you. And speaking of that, dude, what the hell? We have to go through holes in the wall to get in here? Oh my god. This is gonna be quite interesting. This is gonna be quite the trek back, I feel like. I don't know how to feel about that. I think we're on the other side of where we were. There's a elevator shaft with the sketchiest parkour I've seen in my life. Oh, man. That's the type of parkour that breaks legs. <laughs> I don't want my legs broken again. But I think that's the only direction we can go. Hello. Is that is that not a businessman? Oh, my God. He was having a seizure up on there. That or he was trying his newest dance move. Is this, is this a zombie man? I can't tell. It looks more like the freaking shadow man than a zombie, but okay. Yes! Oh no, we need one more level. We need two more skill points. Are you serious? Uh, well, we got some unlocked doors to some bathrooms. I guess I could search the toilets. They have a chance of having pistols and stuff. That's good. But yeah, I hope you guys are having absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day. I don't think I wish that to you guys yet. You know, if I ever forget, I'm super sorry if I do forget. But I think you guys should know from the bottom of your hearts. I'm always wishing that you guys have absolutely an amazing one out there. If not, you know, I hope maybe the video helps it get better. Maybe something else happens today to make it better. If that doesn't happen, hey, I hope tomorrow's even better than that. So all you guys deserve an absolutely fantastic day. I feel like all people do. A lot of people do. You know, except maybe if you're murdering people out there. In which case, hey, you know, put, put, put a break on the murders. Okay, murdering is mean. How, how do I know that? Uh, science. Yeah, it's not a nice thing to do, but all right. Now that that has been said, it's time for us to refocus our efforts on the tower. Uh, honestly, e eek, eek, mm, I don't know why I'm saying eek, but honestly, I might, I'm just going to try to loot, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to start looking through the desks really quickly. If there's nothing of interest to hell with it, I'll just move on to the next place because desks usually have the best stuff out of all these things that we can loot. So if there's nothing good in the desk, I'll just pass on it. We're in a little bit of a timer here. Yeah, look at that. Already told you. We're on a little bit of a timer here, so I'm trying to make time go as quickly as possible. All right, Father Time ain't too happy about it, but to hell with Father Time. All right, this is Papa Star we're talking about here. I don't listen to no Father Time until maybe he comes around or something like that. But the sketchy part that I was talking about, parkouring up an elevator shaft. Oh, man. Knowing my luck, I probably won't even fall, but I'll still find a way to break everything. This is awful. I don't like this. I feel like getting back is going to be a giant pain in the butt. Luckily, we've killed a lot of the businessmen up until this point, so as long as we start retreating, I don't think we have to worry too badly. And chemical design. Landmines. My favorites. Why don't we put on a flashlight? It's going to start getting all sketchy and dark up in here. Um... Yeah, landmines, I'm going to have to ask you guys to not blow up on me. Thank you. Ooh, giant hole in the wall. Seems to be a common theme nowadays. Ooh, wherever the hell this goes, 
Looks like there's a lot of stuff up in here. Ooh, I like stuff. I like stuff a lot. And we should be able to loot this stuff up pretty easily. Because it's not metallic. The one thing that we can't break through right now because we forgot our stupid steel pickaxe. But we should be able to break through this pretty easily. Okay, air conditioners. That's a cardboard box. Maybe this won't be as good as I thought it'd be. Lab equipment. Okay. Filled with nothing. Just like me. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to be looking through cardboard boxes. The pill cases have to come through. These have to be okay. I'll probably end up ditching the... Um, Ooh, I'm not... Eh, I'll scrap that, honestly. I'm gonna end up ditching the band-aids. I don't need those. And honestly, I might ditch the grain alcohol, too. We already have a good amount of that back home, and we haven't even done anything with it yet. And to be honest, I don't think we're gonna be doing a whole ton with it. We'll probably do some, make a couple first aid kits when we unlock that. Did I hear some? No? We good? Okay, we good. That's an oven. Of course it is. Is it an easy bake, though? That's the only oven I officially recognize. All right, if it ain't easy bake, it's too hard to bake. And if it's too hard to bake, it's not worth the effort. And why is a nail gun lab equipment? I don't know. All these answers and more are probably never to be answered. Because no one cares about answering my questions. <laughs> Alright. Well, it looks like we can continue going this way. This has to be the way there. Because the other way is set up a bajillion landmines. And I, I, I don't know, dude. Landmines are definitely... <laughs> they're not something you want to trigger too much. But what the hell is this way? That's what I'm wondering. This has to lead somewhere. They put a wall up here. Oh. Oh, this does lead somewhere. Oh. Hello. Candle, can you move, please, good sir? Oh! What the hell? Are there just zombies in cases? Is this what you guys were talking about? If so, this is really freaky. What, what the, what is going on? There's just zombies in cases? Hold up. So, you're telling me the pharmaceutical companies are to blame for the zombie apocalypse. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. And I think that vibe might be right. Because I don't think they just captured a couple of these fellows just to be like, Oh, you know, it's uh, it's John the friendly zombie. Like, nah, nah, this ain't Casper. Alright, Casper, you don't play no games like that. Jesus. Is there even more of these guys on this play? Oh. This has to be what you guys were talking about when I, you said we would find some... Uh, what the hell is that noise? Is that a feral zombie? Probably is. Uh, yeah, what the hell was that zombie? Rotting carcass. Okay, no. If we're gonna find a feral zombie, it would not surprise me to find one here. So I'm definitely going to... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, trying to get the jump on me. Ain't feral. This one's just psycho and like always moving his hands in the sketchiest way imaginable. Down with you, reanimated corpse. I'm sick of your stuff. Alright, she's up in here. Oh, hazmat zombie. Okay, I could say hello to you. I haven't seen one of your kind in a while. How you doing, my friend? How's the hazmatting? Is it good? Is it you, you keeping all uh, hazmat or you keeping all healthy? You know, no, no chair noble, nothing like that. We good? Okay, we good. We only got about three hours till this nighttime. It's two, and we might need to bamboozle our way out of here. But there is still a roof and stuff. I think we might. Where the hell did you come from? Did she just respawn there? She was definitely not here before, right? Uh. <laughs> Well, she's not here now, so that doesn't matter. Still, I think we definitely might need to come back here. We're not going to be able to get to the top of the tower. It, from the top of the other tower we were in, it looked like there was some pretty interesting stuff up there. So I'm definitely interested in getting there. And uh, hold up, hold up. That has to be a very good box. Uh, yeah, how hard is that going to be to break through? Very hard. Hmm. Well, I guess I can see what's in there, but still... There might be some sort of a secret chest there. Maybe not secret, because oil shale. Nah. I don't need gas that desperately. Yeah, that looks like it'd be pretty interesting, but unfortunately all the stuff to break through it is metallic. That might need to be something we try to get on our return trip, because this trip is definitely not the trip to do that with. That just looks like some uh, meds, some chemicals. I'm up here looking for bigger ticket items, though. I want explosives and stuff, and is this... There's no way that's it, really? They just had this little, like, wall fortification here. This has to go high. Oh. 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 What was that? Did some stuff just fall? I think it did. Oh, no, they are coming. I wonder if I could get them to go on the land. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Dude, the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper the further into this building we go. Because right now, I don't know. This is not normal. There's a hole in the roof. Uh, Why don't we see what's in here? Just a bathroom, okay. You're just taking a bathroom break. I can respect that. 
old chair? I can't respect that. Pill cases, I'll respect those later, because right now... What the hell? They're experimenting on zomp- Dude, they either created the zombies or doing some experiments, and honestly, given the fact it's like a big pharmaceutical company, they probably somehow are behind this all. That, that wouldn't surprise me. I don't know why, you know? Probably- Oh, they wanted to make- You know what? That's probably what it was. What if they wanted to make the medicine to cure the zombie apocalypse, that way they got rich. Ooh. So they invented a zombie apocalypse, but then it got out of hand. Hidden stash! Ooh. It's only a couple silver nuggets. Alright, goodbye stag party. Hello, silver. Hi, ho, silver! Oh, God. Get out of there, sir. Do not hit me. Still, though, a hidden stash, you say? I like stashes of the hidden variety. I will take that into account. Hell yeah. Dude, a hidden stash. This one probably isn't as hidden. I mean, no, it's it's on a pretty normal shelf. Dude, I think there might definitely be some cool stuff in here if they have hidden freaking stashes. Cooking pots, I got enough of you fellas. Two tokens. Might need to pass on those. Regardless, yeah, dude, up there, whatever the hell that was. We might need to keep our eyes a little bit more peeled if there's going to be secret stashes like that throughout the map. We got to keep looking up, and as I look up... I see a little something something. You guys see the little something something, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. I know you do. You guys seeing this? I'm, you know what? Whatever. We can make our way back in the nighttime. I'm not too worried about that. We've done sketchier in our lives. Uh, right now, what I'm worried about is wherever the hell this goes. Hello there, my friend. How are you doing? I hear that you're trying to hide something from me. I don't appreciate that. Oh, I do not. I think of that. Oh, I know what that is actually. No, don't hit that with that. Come on, man. Have some decency. I know what's down there. I know what we're looking after. That was the thing that I was just talking about that we might be able to get to if we had a pickaxe or something. No, we should just be able to get in right through the top and maybe get some pretty good stuff here. Sucks that we have to use the wrench, but the door is unlocked. Oi. 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 Oh, ho, ho. Oh, oh, what the hell? The door fell! What? <laughs> Wait, what? The door just fell? What the hell just had you guys so? <laughs> this is some top-notch construction, lads. Great job. Another hidden stash with a very good shotgun receiver that we still can't put on our freaking shotgun splints. We probably will need those in a little bit knowing our luck, but to hell with it. Little bit isn't right now, so I don't care too much. Uh, let's pick up that frame. Let's see, this, this this goes somewhere. This goes further up, does it not? Well, let's not break nothing. Okay, nothing broke, nothing broke. That's some sort of a locked door. And this might be the roof. No, there's even more floors. Chemical Depot. Well, I think we might need to explore the rest of this tower because right now nighttime is coming a little bit too quickly for me to be comfortable with. I'm gonna try to mad dash my way back and what is the best way to mad dash our way back? Because I am not seeing it. Oh no, we gotta escape this tower now. Maybe we didn't think this too far through. <laughs> Come on, give me that second wood frame. Okay, we gotta start hauling some booty to get the hell out of here. I'll pick up some old chairs if I see them. We're definitely gonna turn that into wood, but there's a ton of stuff here for us. Oh, I kinda wanna break one of those. I don't know. Maybe not break, but what the hell? Still can't get over how weird that is. That's gonna break something if I go down there. We gotta find a real shaft that we can go down. Not in a weird way. I know you guys are already probably thinking of some weird images after I said that. Uh, where's that lead to? No, that just leads to nothing. That leads to nothing. Oh no, I hear a zombie. We might need to switch over to the shotgun department. Those zombies might be on the roof, but if nighttime's coming, I'm not gonna risk any of our stuff that we got, and oh, well, I gotta risk it right now if I wanna make it home through the sketchiest descent known to man. Thank you, elevator shaft. I really hope I never have to go through this again. Although, I wonder if that is a secret. Uh, elevator shafts tend to be secretive. I think we can agree with this. Uh, and by the looks of it, this is either gonna be a shortcut or something pretty handy. It, it's neither. It's neither. It is a blocked door. Well, to hell with it. Whatever. I guess we gotta start making our way out of here. God damn it. Of course, we had to waste a wooden frame on that. Uh, yeah, we'll put that up there. This is a total waste of wooden frame. Screw it. It was for science. There could have been a secret elevator shaft. Now all we gotta do is survive the tower in the middle of the night. 
the best time to survive. And uh, we gotta keep on attempting to make our way out of here through all these weird areas. Weird little holes in the walls, all that. Still though, I think there might be like one or two more floors to here. And given the track record of what we found so far, uh, the weird zombie experimentation, first off, that's crazy. But the other stuff, like those hidden stashes, I feel like these next couple floors might have some pretty delicious fruits after our labor is all said and done, so... I'm looking forward to coming back here, but this is gonna be up to you guys, because I don't think we can come back here until, uh, let's be honest, probably after day 28. I don't know. I just feel like we definitely do not have the time. I gotta go home. I gotta spend some time right now uh, trying to gather as much as possible. Of course that thing's blocked off, but I gotta spend as much time gathering the necessities, and hopefully we can at least build a too high concrete wall. As bad of a dream as that seems like, that is the dream right now. A too high wall. But it has to surround our entire base, which means it's going to be a good amount of concrete, which means we kind of have our work cut out for us. So, yeah, you know, hopefully it's a little bit more fun than it is uh, grindy. But like I said, I'll probably be doing a lot of that mining during the night times. I usually don't record the night times anyway. I just kind of, you know, let them happen and I will scrap those, grab the booze. Hop on the mini bike and get us the hell out of Higashi. This this wretched place. Oh, yeah. Higashi. We conquered, I'd say half of you. There's definitely a floor or two left. And after that, there is definitely still the roof. And I think those, I don't know. As you guys saw with whatever was in the book HQ, the higher you go, the better the stuff gets. Those top floors start having like gun safes and stuff. Gun safes. I like. I like them a lot. Almost as much as munition boxes, but still, those are the things that we should be looking for, so I think we'll go ahead and try to get through there. But like I said, I think these next couple of days, give me any feedback, of course, what you think we should spend these next couple day times doing, but I think fortifications are by and far away number one priority right now, so I'll be trying to do those, but after that, that tower is pretty high on my list of things to check out, because I want to finish those top couple floors and see whatever the hell we can get out of that. At this point, uh, I'll just start leave. Eh, I'll just leave one wood frame there, make it easier to get in and out. But uh, you, I can't believe I left it behind. Wait, where is it? Did I put it in this chest? Where the hell did I put my steel pickaxe? Steel pickaxe? I I have to be missing the steel pickaxe. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I thought it was green quality. That's why. I gotta fix that, but that's gonna be with forged steel, which we can't get until that crucible. And as you guys know, with how expensive the crucible is, no way in hell I'm crafting that until we survive this horde. Because that's a lot of resources that could go towards walls, and a little bit of steel is not going to, you know, make or break it. But we got the cement mixer. We're gonna start utilizing that next episode. But for now, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up for me. I'm gonna start putting a lot of this stuff away, probably crafting up another place to put all the stuff away in because we are running out of room really freaking quickly we are not good in the whole you know keep stuff orderly department definitely where i struggle not my strongest suit but you know it's it's going okay i wouldn't say it's going the worst in the world we got a couple extra slots we'll figure that out i'll figure that out and then i will go down into the mines and collect what needs to be collected but after that i think what i will also do is try to buy the shotgun where i will let me know in the comment section a price what is a good price for us to spend on the shotgun we got 7,000 casino tokens because the plan is you guys supported me or you guys seem to like the idea that i buy a shotgun uh not blue no yeah shotgun blueprint because it seems to be glitched we have not found anything we found rarer books multiple times but we have not found the shotgun book yet so you guys seem to support me in that you know maybe it just maybe it is the worst luck in the world but a good amount of you guys seem to think it's glitched so i don't just want to spawn it in i think that's cheap so what i want to do instead is i want to buy it so let me know a price thumbs it up in the comments all that jazz but let me know a price that you guys think would be fair for us to actually buy this thing for because with day 28 coming up man I'm sorry, I need to upgrade the shotgun for that next horde. I don't think there's any way I could survive without it. Because we don't have as fleshed out of a defense yet, and we're going to probably spend day 27 doing the walls, day 28 doing the traps, and then from there, 
Probably a lot of the killing will have to come at our own hands through stuff like uh, immense ammo stores. Also, this new compound bow. Hallelujah. This this bow will help us out a lot during that horde night, especially if we switch on over to some stronger arrows, such as steel arrows, or potentially even venture towards stuff like explosive. Well, those are the crossbow bolts for the compound bow. Damn it. But in terms of arrows, we could get flaming arrows. Flaming arrows are pretty freaking cool, and they're like stronger steel arrows. Just gonna take a little bit of gunpowder, a little bit of tallow, which is a struggle, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. But yeah, it's gonna go ahead and wrap up for me. Let me guys, uh, let me know a price for that shotgun, and after that, I'll just go ahead. I'm gonna spend some time in the mines, collect some of those resources, and then tomorrow will be a big day. Hopefully, we can get some outer walls to protect our base, and uh, this horde is coming. I'm sketched out. Maybe if we have a little bit of time, we'll even head on over to the military bases over there because we remember that the loot respawned from last time and those should be pretty quick things to do, especially with an empty inventory. But that's going to wrap it up me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.